down to 240. Final overtime period. Long ball up the sideline. Taken on the uh, run now by Pulik. Stolen away by DeBajos. And now knocked out of bounds by the Falcons. Now, coming back into the lineup, and this is crucial, Guy Alves and Claudio Rico. Good to see them back in there. They're going to be essential to the rail splitters if this thing goes to a PK shootout. Good, uh, good decision from Coach uh, Diana. Uh, obviously, he's getting his best shooters on, on the field. Because the ones that can take the penalties are the ones that are left, finish the game on the field. Galafasi from the near side. Chips one up to, to Pizarro. Pizarro trying to make a shot. Gets it over to Delore. Delore has a shot that's deflected by the keeper and saved. 151 to go. Cross by. Yeah! And the Galafasi crosses it. And it's Gene Alves. Chips it in. The Ramsputters are going to the national championship. Lincoln Memorial with a devastating strike with exactly 136 to play propels them into the NCAA Division II Championship. The Railsman is going nuts on the sideline. Lincoln Memorial knocks off Montevello in the semifinals. Unbelievable. A moment every student athlete dreams of, playing for a national championship. Oh, you know, personally, it'd be a, a massive achievement, you know. Hopefully we can take it down today. It's going to be the first one, so it's going to mean the world to us. Both teams seeking their first ever national title next. To be contested, Franklin Pierce of New Hampshire taking on Lincoln Memorial of Tennessee. This is for all the marbles. Let's take a look at the brackets and see how these teams got here. Lincoln Memorial getting past Northern Kentucky and Montevallo, and Franklin Pierce getting past last year's national champions Dowling in the quarterfinals, and a very difficult Midwestern state of Texas. Welcome to everybody, Glenn Davis. Lincoln Memorial fans seem to be in more numbers here at the Orange Beach Sportsplex as we get set for the men's Division II national championships. Franklin Pierce and LMU. Speaking of Franklin, lineup Pierce. littered with Brazilians. Well, and they play a 3-5-2 system, a flat back. Their leader in the back is Vitor Sousa. He will have to organize his back three. And up top, they have a stud in Leandro Pereira. He is the leading the team with 55 points and 23 goals. He's an exciting Brazilian up top. And keep an eye on Felipe Nogueira and Galafas. Galafasi now, he had the game-winning assist in overtime. Good ball down the line. He'll get it back. Galafasi to the end line, cuts it back. Just across the face of the goal. As Lincoln Memorial comes out, putting tons of pressure here on Franklin Pierce. Beautiful back heel to release Galafasi as he powers towards the end line. Shakes off a tackle, cuts it back, and cleared by Etienne Garrett. Gets his head up, clips one into the box towards DeBarros. Herrera, who is the finisher, and he shot it Such a great choice, the service by Nagara, because this is a team that likes to build up through the midfield, but it's just not on. So he said, let me see if I can change things up a bit here with the direct play up top, and just a beautiful job there, serving that ball. But boy, they get it to the foot of the right person. He just can't crank that ball. Aaron McKinnon of Birmingham, England, who's brought a little bit of uh, Pace and effort into this game. Trying to shake things up a little bit. He's on the ball now. Rico. Lincoln Memorial in possession. Great combination play here. Barrera. And off his line is Joyce. But you got a good example of how they can circulate the ball quickly. Well, you just have to love that out of Pereira. And Taylor working together, great give and go, great combination. Look at this great skill out of these players, great playmaking ability, beautiful ball movement, one, two, three. But that final ball on this choice, you have to wonder what he was doing. Shara Etienne eludes one. Knee brace uh, work there for Petro Panagas. Tabaros and Onside is to Lord, though. Should have waved it off. Tavares. But we haven't seen out of Tavares is possession in the attack. It's all this possessing the ball, knocking it back to the defenders. No penetrating He's possession. Clearly, clearly not getting on the ball like he did against Montevallo. Navarro 
Puts a shot, takes a deflection past Thorpe, who tries to push it out for a throw in, but can't. Six in the box for Lincoln Memorial. They swing it in. Thorpe missed it. Can they put it in? Goes over the James top. Thorpe with a rare mistake in goal that was nearly costly. This is a three-time All-American. He doesn't make mistakes like this. A great ball is fed in. It should have been a routine save, but no, instead it's a loose ball in the box, and they just can't get a piece of it. I thought it was going to be headed in right there, but what a tremendous job there by the Franklin Pierce defender, Henning Comey. Comey goes down hard top of the box and speared out. Gavaros, this is where they want him. He needs some movement in front of the ball. Where is it? There it is. Offside flag is up. Didn't time it right. Offside flag is up. Well, and that's a quick counter that I've been asking for. Well, you can see, I mean, we, we heard head coach Marco Coleman talking about how humid it is out here, and that takes a toll, especially with dehydration. This is a great opportunity for Lincoln Memorial to push their central defenders forward. Sousa and Noguera comes in as target players, look for four, look for three. Alves to take it, clips it in. It's a little heavy, it may be over the head. It was off the post. Totally missed time by James Thorpe off his line. If it weren't for the post, it would have been one nothing Lincoln Memorial. And you have to wonder, was Guy Alves trying to shoot here? What a great unpredictable play here. I don't think Thorpe thought he would ever shoot. One inch to the right. We have ourselves a goal. What a beautiful job. Up and over. Boy, hello. Compliments U.S. Steel as a save for Franklin Pierce. Strange because when it was he's going to be able to produce that little bit more energy and uh, pressure here to maybe produce a victory here in a national championship game. McKenna now for Lincoln Memorial. Flashy ball back, top of the box, shot to the deflection. Herrera was there. Lewandowski off the throw. Gabarros. In the box, this could be dangerous for Franklin Pierce. Back and people in, cuts it back. And Thorpe may have just taken it off the feet of Pereira. Well, the referee to make that call. The Lincoln Memorial fans were going to make it. So there it is. Harrogate, Tennessee. 3,254 is the enrollment, founded in 1897. Wow. How about that? And it's 111th year of operation. That was some information, and I'm sure a few people were just enlightened. Hold him, Gavin. You're good, son. Tried to bring in Lima. Is it breakout time now? Gabaros. Oh, he may have had Gavin McLeod is out on the right side. Gabaros trying to break through. Talor needs one for a national championship. Can't get a shot off over the top.